Hello, citizens of Serbia, and welcome to the frontiers, to our third attempt at, um, well, leading our nation to glory. I've watched a little, uh, I watched some of my videos. Yeah, I watched some of my videos that I upload. And I noticed the music is a little bit too loud. Yeah. <coughs> I actually made my microphone a little bit louder in the window settings. I noticed that for some reason it's like 30 out of out of 100 in terms of volume. I raised it up to 70. So you uh, definitely will be able to, to hear me more clearly now. Or not. <coughs> Depends. But anyway. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so what I decided to try to do is hmm, fabricating some claims on Ragusa. I know they will try to ally themselves with Hungary, and if they do, I will call my uh, Diplo home. But in order to prevent alliance from happening, Oh, I should have done this first. I should have proclaimed, proclaimed guarantee first. Now I... Well, I derped a little bit. <coughs> um, hmm. Let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, yeah, la la la, quit. Con successful for one year. Tremendous attrition. It's just insane. A single player. No, Poland, you're not an interesting choice. Serbia is. Yep, I clicked on Serbia. Good. Good, good, good. So, uh, proclaim guarantee. For some reason, you can use this trick. If you don't want a nation, like a lesser, a lesser nation or something, if you don't want it to ally <coughs> to anyone, and if you can't ally them themselves, you can tr try to guarantee them. What this is going to do, uh, basically this works like a one-side alliance. If they get attacked, you get called into a defensive war as a, as you would get called as an ally. If you were if you were an ally, you would get called into defensive war. And we're going to declare this one just because we can. <coughs> yeah, yeah, stability draw. All right. Hmm, let's make a general as a leader. Oh, well, that's, that's too bad. Our leader... Oh, it's not our leader. 223, and uh, our heir is 211. <coughs> so actually, instead of making our dude leader, I'll make this one. I'll make my heir lead troops. So, also, we are going to hire an advisor. Ooh, ideal. Stability cost modifier goes down. Beautiful. I'm not gonna earn any money, though, <coughs> due to that. I could raise wall taxes, though. That would be interesting. The thing is, I need some quick admin power. Alright, he's ready for new assignments. <coughs> Immediately start to work on Austria and Hungary. They didn't rival anyone yet. So we'll wait on that before until the war ends with Albania. Come on! <coughs> Alright, good, we won. And now Ottomans are leaving this province because they're afraid of attrition. <laughs> Thus, leaving us as an attacker. Stupid, right? Stupid dumb Ottomans. <laughs> Alright. How much would it cost me to boost my stability? 80. Great. This is not too bad. Now they're actually helping me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ottomans. Love you, you're the best. Alliance with these fools is useless. <clears throat> I have prestige of at least 50. Can I get to that? Not in the near future, though, I guess. I guess I could take this mission. There would there won't be any better mission because we're not playing as like uh, any <clears throat> like 
Byzantium or Ottomans. They get some specific missions. We don't. Mm -hmm. Did you rival anyone yet? No, you didn't. All right. Okay, I guess we'll wait until this war ends. Okay. Uh, we're paying money. Why? Guess we're enforcing. So, no. Let's pay our armies a little bit less. We don't need them. We're not fighting anyone. <coughs> ah, it didn't work. You see. I guess it's scripted then. Let's uh, recall the guarantee then. Oh, we don't have a diplomat to send. Oh, whatever. No, no one's gonna attack them when they're allied to Hungary, and then think so. Alright. So, the, the start, the, like, the opener was right in the previous attempt. What I've done wrong was um, attacking Bosnia, or no, attacking Wallachia, before I actually had my alliances with Hungary and Austria, because you need those. Everyone is going to be afraid, attack, afraid of attacking you first, until you actually attack someone. Which is exactly what happened in my previous playthrough. Uh, I attacked Wallachia, Bosnia attacked me, seeing as I've attacked Wallachia and in turn turned hostile to Wallachian troops. And uh, basically I had double I had I had to fight an army double my size, so that's not 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 too good. If I had Austria and Hungary allied to me before I attacked someone, Bosnia wouldn't dare att attacking me because they would end up at a war with Austria and Hungary. So, <clears throat> but anyway, let's take the dude from Hungary for a little while because he's closer and finish off this war with Albania. Hmm, should I should I should I vassalize him? Or just take him. Hungary would hate me a little bit. Not not that that matters. No, I'll I'll take him. Thank you very much. So I'll spend a little bit of admin power. I will boost my stability a little bit. All right, all right. Looks good. I'll keep my troops there because uh, I don't want to fight any revolts. Let's see, we can hire two more units. Let's hire one cavalry unit and one infantry unit. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Oh, the diplomat is back. Let's, um. Oh, well, let's first of all uh, revoke the guarantee cordial to us, look at that. No. I want to be cordial to these guys, sorry. Though I think, I think they would accept an alliance. No, they wouldn't. Oh, because of my opinion, oh well. Okay. My diplomatic reputation is actually quite okay. Yeah, legitimacy helps. Gotta get out of the negative stability. <coughs> I don't want to suffer the modifiers for a long time. This core is actually going to take... Uh, going to be quick. Alright. In my army. Completely ready. Did you rival anyone, fools? You didn't. You didn't. <coughs> Okay, I can wait. Not, it's not that I... It's not that I'm in a hurry or anything. Or actually, I actually need to reduce the maintenance. No, let's reduce it to a minimum. Whatever. Aw, oh, fucking hell. Now I want my dude to die. Oh, it's only leading troops, so it's okay. We get a crazy good air. Look at them. 366. Six. That's just tremendously beautiful. 2 one, 1 not so good. Alright, alright. Good gain mercantilism or increased free trade. No, we'll gain, we'll gain mercantilism. <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. We are 
going to be transferring trade. Yep. Transfer trade power. <clears throat> alright, alright. Why do I have minus... Oh, of course. The ruler died. Of course. Yeah. So we will have to waste our administrative power to restore our stability, but it's okay. We gained a free piece of land for that. Well, not really free, but it was easy to take, right? Ottomans declared war on Byzantium. Bye bye, Byzantium. Was a joyful ride. <clears throat> so, did you rival anyone? Yeah, you rival Poland. And you didn't rival anyone. Let's rival Poland. Oh yeah, I hate Poland too. Let's hate Poland together, dude. Let's hate them together, bro. They will accept the royal marriage. Not so much an alliance, though. Uh, let's secure our relations. No, no, whatever. <clears throat> we'll keep our diplomats where they are. Alright, we can improve our stability. Let's do exactly that. We're losing legitimacy, which is bad. Gotta, gotta get rid of this as soon as possible. Our truce with Ottomans expires like three years, so... I'm a little bit worried about that. So basically this is the time to set up my alliances, like three years. I don't have much time. Much time, such such a maze, wow. Truce with Ottomans. <clears throat> They're rivaling me, they're not rivaling me. Hmm. Do you have a claim? Yeah, you do. You little bugger. You also have a claim in Ragusa. Why the fuck do you have a claim in Ragusa? <clears throat> Alright. So we can take a royal marriage. Come on. Aw, two more. God damn it. Alright. Fifteen. I will hire a statesman for these. That's just what I'm gonna do. The next, they will not accept the royal marriage. What? Oh, because I. Uh, uh, okay, let's, ri let's rival Burgundy. Oh, yeah, I hate Burgundy too. Let's hate them together, bro. Let's hate them together. <clears throat> Alright, we have Cord Albania. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beauty, beauty, beautiful. Forty-eight out of forty-nine. Aw, Hungary's rivaling Austria. Look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some problems. I, I'll have to ally Hungary first because if I ally Austria first, I won't be able to ally Hungary. Okay. Let's see what we can do then. Mm. How about if I guarantee you, will you? Yeah, you will ally me now. Okay, good. 16 August. Beautiful. See? Didn't even have to hire a statesman. Beautiful. Now I can revoke guarantee. I think. You're fighting. Who you're fighting? Attacker against Austria. Okay. Close to taking royal marriage here. Marriage. So for proclaim guarantee, they will take royal marriage now. Beautiful. Twenty ninth of October. October. October first. Alliance? No? 
Hmm. Taking a statesman will give me plus five due to diplomatic reputation, right? What's my current diplomatic reputation? My current diplomatic reputation is plus one, and it gives me plus five, so actually taking a statesman would give me like 25 plus judging by this logic it doesn't make any sense all right let's wait oh, let's try this we'll hire a uh, statesman and see how it goes oh we can actually boost our stability now good now we're no longer losing legitimacy we're actually gaining legitimacy which is always is always nice <clears throat> Alright, now we hire a statesman, let's see. Austria, not taking an alliance. What about now? What about now? Yeah, now you will take an alliance. Okay, great. Beautiful. Now we can also revoke guarantee, and we can also kick out this statesman, because we're going to be losing money otherwise. Knowledge is power. Okay, fire advisor. Beautiful. Mm hmm. And revoke guarantee. Because fuck guarantees. I ain't guaranteeing no one. Alright, now we can uh, think about fabricating some claims in Valachia because. Well. Now we have these alliances, and as I've already explained earlier, Bosnia will not attack me now because I have two defensive alliances to protect me. Not so sure about the Ottomans though. The Ottomans might still attack me because um, relative strength of my alliances is on the on the low right now because they are fighting each other currently. Sadly. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about Ottomans attacking me. Especially considering they have a core in this. See, the downside of attacking Al Albania is that it, it it will attract unwanted attention to me. I don't I'm not don't really want this attention. All right. Yeah, they can completely obliterate Byzantium. Byzantium is wiped out from the face of the earth. Alright. I could declare myself like follower. A follow up state. That's positive. Why does positive ability not give me legitimacy bonus? That's what I would consider being logical, right? But no, it doesn't give you bonus uh, legitimacy. It just gives you a bunch of different stuff. Glo like global trade power. And tax modifier. And Rilverse actually goes down, so it's quite good. Quite good. One stability is like the, the, the level of stability you want to keep and maintain. So yeah. Um, I think we can actually afford maintain our armies like at this level maybe now ah, we'll keep we'll do that wait one month and then attack Valachia and then raise war taxes that's gonna work out perfectly I think all right attack Valachia no one's willing to join obviously now I'm just gonna raise war taxes and be like eh okay Alright, he has four regiments. I don't have a full morale, so I'm not going to attack him right now. Especially considering this is the river crossing and I don't want to cross any rivers. I could ask for military access from Hungary. Why not, I guess? I can just go around then and not cross any rivers. That would be smart, I think. Nah, I'm not afraid of, of Bosnia attacking me because they will end up fighting both Hungary and Austria. And Austria seems to be winning this war against Hungary, which is well. Yay for um Yay for Austria, I guess. I'm so scared of fighting Ottomans. It seems like they're just waiting. Waiting to this truce to wear off. And 
until 11th of November. We'll see. If they declare war on us like 12th of November, I'm gonna be pissed. Maybe next month. Okay, wow, they're not actually attacking me. Okay, <laughs> that, uh, that is actually pretty good. They're attacking Karaman. Thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, and the war with, uh, and the war uh, between Austria and Hungary is over, so that's going to be quite good. Allied rival, meh, they still love me. Friendly. Friendship. Do you believe in magic? A friendship. We have won the Siege of Oltania. Now I can walk around like so. No, I can just walk out of this province and then uh, walk back in. Promising trader. I'm not interested, sorry. Hmm. My, my might actually lose... No, I'm not losing this battle. Okay, we're fine. I'm good at fire phase, I think. Alright, good. I think I'm safe going... Crossing the river here. Might not be. Oh shit, I lost. Well, whatever. Yep, screwed up. Shouldn't have crossed a, a bloody river. <sighs> well, we can just sit in Altania. He will have to cross the river to join me there, so... Why the hell should I care? I have enough manpower. This is gonna do. I'll sit on you. Sit on you. I can. Oh. Current peace offer. Well, I can just sit in this province and. Uh, in a little while, they're gonna go. Their war exhaustion is gonna go up. Oh, he's gonna win this battle, is he? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. That sucks. Fucking hell, man. So bad. Is he following me? He is! You little wanker! Why are you following me? You have to unsiege this. Block and military strength, eh? Well, but anyway, uh, we'll continue this war in the next episode. I can't believe Valaki is beating me. Thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to go and rate and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. See you there.